let it go. Let's just move on to the next game. Nope, coward. About the doxer us? About the doxer us right now? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> She's a gamer girl. We got a doxer. Insecurity. That's a word I want you to keep in mind while you're watching this video because it's going to apply a lot. Today we're going to be talking about a SWIF, which if you're unfamiliar with the term means survive with friends. It's a group of people who go into a game of Dead by Daylight together to play as a full squad of survivors. And this particular SWIF just really can't handle losing, especially when the killer is a woman. Now, because there will be four voices that you'll hear during this video for people in the SWIF, I've decided that it might be a little bit easier if I attribute colors to their subtitles, just so you can pick out who's talking with a little bit less effort. So the main TTV will be in white. The second male sounding voice that you'll hear will be in pink. The first female sounding voice that you'll hear will be in blue. And the second female sounding voice that you'll hear will be in green. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Oh shit. Mother I'm getting tunneled. Now, that tunneling comment, it may have been a joke, but just in case it wasn't, I want to point out that it happened 17 seconds into the match, and this was the first time that the killer had seen him. Just in case. Dude, if you're getting tunneled, just tunnel away. Yeah, f you, coward. Yeah, you're bad at the game. Remember that. Holy f I found a good body. Oh, f off with you getting rid of my boon, you Bro, I needed that. So you can already hear how, like, right at the start of the match, they're all already quite antagonistic in their language. They trash talk a lot. Now, I've said before, I don't mind trash talk as long as it doesn't get personal, as long as it doesn't leave the game. I feel like trash talk is a normal part of any competitive activity. So I'm not saying there's anything bad in what they're doing, but it is worth noting that from the get-go, these guys were on the antagonistic side of things. I'm let's, helping by uh, leading her away. Downstairs to heal. Oh, never mind. She's yeah. trying to find you. She's just tunneling you. The tunneling comment again. I don't think these guys understand what tunneling means. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I thought I juked her. Never mind. She slugged me and she's going for you, buddy. Yeah, f you, you're bad. Uh, you're stuck at a pallet, though. She, she can break it, though. Yeah, but she couldn't get me because she was at a pallet. Do you remember when I said earlier that this team just cannot handle losing? That's one example of it. This person goes down and rather just be like, okay, yeah, fair, you got the down or, ah, that's a shame. They have to make some sort of like, ha, gotcha, by being like, ah, yeah, but you're stuck on the pallet. Does that really matter? They got the down. Like, why do you have to try and one-up this Huntress just because you went down? It just comes across as really, just really pathetic. You know, like, just take the down. It's fine. You'll be okay. This isn't an extreme example of that, I'm aware. You know, and even the friend is like, yeah, but she can just break the pallet. This is just me pointing out that even at the very beginning of the game, this is, th there are still five gens up, only two hooks have been got. They are still making excuses as to why they lose certain scenarios. Not even, not, not not just the game overall, but even just individual chases. Dude, don't headbutt my <laughs> No, stop sucking me off! <laughs> Man, I mean, you're gonna have to return the favor. Only homies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my pinky toe, my pinky. Stop Holy it. shit, dude. <laughs> what, what inch can I go to? Let's see. I've got nothing for that. This, this is a complete side note, right? But what is it with some guys and enacting having sex with each other? I've never really understood that. <laughs> Listen, I ain't judging. Okay, I'm not trying to say that it's weird to get with, as they put it, your homie. I, that's what you want to do, hey? We inclusive here. But these guys frequently make homophobic jokes, but then they'll do this. <laughs> the logic is just not there for me. I guess it's a sign of comfort. Like if you're comfortable in the friendship that you've got, you can act like you're having sex with each other. Maybe I'm just not close enough with my guy friends. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, you just knew I was there. Oh. Yeah, okay. You really that mad about a boom. Remember, guys, it's part of the survival rulebook that if a killer chases you, it's only because they're mad about something. Okay, it's not because it's their job. 
It's not because it's their role in the game that they're playing. It's because they're mad at something you've done. In this case, the Yui put a boon down. And I guess the Huntress just couldn't handle it. Now, apart from the first two interactions that you saw, this TTV hasn't really had any chases or interactions as a whole with the killer throughout the game. They've majoritively stayed away from all the action on gens. But then that changes with this chase. And I want you to see how quickly we go from zero to a hundred with this guy. Oh shit! Holy shit. Oh yeah, send that official art. Send it to... So you can show it on screen. Never. Unless he's like naked, then don't do that. <laughs> mother suck my dick, you a whole ass bitch ass mother for that. You're bro, a coward that, bro, you're a coward that just plays fing Huntress all the goddamn time. I bet you get no bitches. Dude, no literally me for real. Get Aren't no head. Bad? Yeah, I bet you don't even dick down bitches. Now, I don't know about you, right? But nothing to me screams no bitches more than the type of guy who needs to say everybody else around them gets no f***ers. Like, if you're using that as an insult, it feels like nine times out of ten, it's just projection. <laughs> also, what is this vernacular of, of take down f***ers? That feels a bit of a weird way of putting that, you know? that I, You know, it kind of gives us this notion that, that women are things that you need to conquer. Now, spoiler alert, although you did see it at the start of this video anyway, this guy does go further with his sexism. So I guess this is just the start of it. But yeah, that, that phrasing really just was a bit weird to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know exactly where I am. Shit, that up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how the f*** do, sh do they know where we're f at? Like, or a reading part. You really shouldn't know where I'm at because I have distortion. So Rest it's like... Peace. You're Distortion only has three tokens. Admittedly, these guys are new, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, but yeah, like it's aura reading perks. Distortion only has a few tokens. That's all that is. They act like this Huntress is cheating somehow. Also, the third person, the second person to die there just killed themselves on hook on second phase. They didn't try and wait for somebody to save them. Oh, is it TTV? Yeah. Oh, you're f tier six Huntress. No b once again. It's prestige six. That's not even high. <laughs> yeah, damn, oh, yeah. Barbecue and chili, yeah. coward. Lethal pursuit, yeah, and... coward. Bitter murmurs, yeah. coward. Dark darkness revealed, coward. Why? Coward. And then he puts it in the end game chat. Why? What? What the? What, what? What are you talking about? What does? Why does an aura reading build make you a coward? Or is that just his word of choice? Apparently, because he said that playing huntress was cowardly as well. So. I mean, I, eh? Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking him up. up look him up and say that he's a really good person. No, nah, um, coward. Yeah, yeah. Call him a coward. And say that his breath smells like sausage. Oh, they're alive. Why? Why? Why would you say his breath smells like sausage? Because that, to me, comes across as a certain type of joke. You can probably guess what it is. Probably used to hearing that kind of joke as well if you're in the LGBT community specifically. Their follower only chat. Blame. Now you gotta be toxic. Follow them. Oh my say god! It's a unfollow. it's a woman too. <laughs> Hold on, where are my earbuds? I gotta. <laughs> the way he does it. I've watched this clip before, but it still gets me. The way he's like, "Oh my god, it's a woman." It's like my man has never seen a woman before. It just brings to mind that office meme. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay and then, rest assured, this TTV wastes no time whatsoever in getting across his feelings about gamer girls as quickly as possible. Oh lord. Don't, don't be like this. Howard. Bro. Bro, get her number for me, bro. Bro, come on. Just, just let it go. Let's just move on to the next game. Oh, coward. About the doctor house? About the doctor house right now? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> She's a gamer girl. Got a doctor. <laughs> That's right. We dox gamer girls in this chat. Hilarious. There are three things I really want to talk about when it comes to this little clip that I've just showed you. Okay, the first one is the irony of them 
making a joke that this TTV has a follower only chat, but then being the exact type of person who would cause a female streamer to need a follower only chat. Okay, if you guys are out here giving such negative and hostile energy towards women, why do you think a woman is going to have follower only chat? Is it maybe to keep people like you from spamming bullshit in their chat 24 7? Some to think about. The second thing I want to bring up is just the blatant, blatant sexism from both this TTV and his buddy. The fact that his buddy's immediate reaction was to make a joke about getting this girl's number is, is just sexist right off the bat. And then it only gets worse when he then threatens to dox her because she's a gamer girl, followed by his buddy making a joke that we dox gamer girls in this chat. That's not funny. Okay, it's not funny. Whether you meant it as some stupid dark humor joke or whether you actually had any serious intent behind it, the only outcome is that you make people feel threatened. You make female streamers who go through enough as it is dealing with people just like you and the shit that you're doing here, you make, how are they gonna feel when they watch that? Are they gonna see it as a joke? No, they're not. Of course they're not. They're gonna feel genuinely threatened probably genuinely scared because you think it's funny as two men to threaten to reveal the location, the real life location of somebody just because they beat you in a video game. Remember that word I told you at the beginning of the video, insecurity? I'm sure you're starting to see where that fits in now. And then the third thing I want to bring up is in regards to the, the female voice that you heard who was asking them to stop immediately as soon as this TTV found out that it was a woman before he had said anything else his female friend said don't do this and this guy's reaction is just to brush her off say straight up no she's a coward we dox gamer girls on that note though I do want to give props to the the female voice for trying to stand up for the female streamer for trying to stop what was going to happen admittedly they could have maybe tried harder, and I know there is an argument to be made there that they should have tried harder. But in that situation, it's probably very scary and very anxiety-inducing to be there and try and go against two guys on that topic. So we can cut them some slack there and give them props for at least attempting to to talk them around and to do something. They're waiting for you to respond. I don't give a Just move on to the next. I'm ready to find Why myself do I hear us another, double? Uh... I wonder if she's huh? gonna watch or is watch now just to see what the response was. Oh, probably. I you know that a... makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, if that she's makes sense. watching right now, I think she did a very good job. Even though I died. You chat shit. <laughs> yeah, she went to look at us. Yeah. yeah. I, f I forgot that I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop being toxic. That's when you're off stream. <laughs> That's when we harass me. women. <laughs> I mean, still, I just call him a coward. I mean, it is what it is. You played good. I'm so. <laughs> you know, his reaction genuinely makes you think and makes you worry about what this guy does off screen, what him and his pal do off screen whenever they come up against a female streamer or a female gamer. And can we also just, ah, oh, again, the f irony of having the audacity to call somebody a coward for the way they play a game unfounded but then when you realize that this person is probably watching you you immediately backtrack on what you said the irony of it to call somebody else a coward and then when you realize that there potentially will be consequences to your actions you backtrack you backpedal so hard but she's the coward pop off man pop off go ahead people like this it just fries my brain but, oh yeah. it's so funny <laughs> you played well you just had two newbies second day of playing today is our second day of playing so so there's just a note there a side note you heard two of them say that this is their second day of playing this is their second day of playing <laughs> all right let's just fucking appreciate that for a minute is this what new players of dead by day like get into have have the rest of us the people who've been playing for so long have we created this environment now where this is the first thing that people learn they don't learn how to play the game first and foremost no 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 they learn how to at the other side for how they play the game she was interested by the salt it was like what was that salt that just called you a coward <laughs> like, <laughs> like i'm just she's talking to her. yeah oh yeah i'm still listening to you
I um I have no idea who we're supposed to be watching. We literally didn't do anything. What what's her what's her thing? What's her thing? We only got one gen because we were literally too new. You said coward just because you were we were upset that we all died, but we didn't do shit that much. This is so entertaining, sorry. To put it simply, the killer that we're playing with is also a TV and they're also streaming and <laughs> Battle of the Streams. Man, man, Battle, Battle of the Streams. The I wrote coward and she's and she, like she's more salty about it than I am. Yeah. I simply just said coward not meaning she, like, it. came into the stream and was like trying to see how salty we were when it would honestly oh, just being pretty... a D-bag like he likes to be and that was yeah. it. She I'm just came like, into the stream and said we were trash talking her. Yeah, it's and like, the thing no. that I heard when she came into the stream was me saying get off follower only chat. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it was the only trash talk was you saying something about the follower only chat. It is kind of bitch made, not gonna lie. Which, yeah. I mean, got, she's got a thousand followers, you know, she's gotta keep Oh, <laughs> that's all. Yeah, but like, I'm watching her chat flow. What you just heard there was a masterclass in how to shift the blame and make yourself out to be the victim. Did you hear how all of them collectively just convinced themselves that they had done nothing wrong? They only did a little bit of trash talk. It wasn't that bad. It's just what he's like, you know, he does this all the time. He's just a bit of a D-bag. All I did was this one thing. Like, ugh, she shouldn't be as salty about it. It's not our fault. And also, these guys are sat there acting like the TTV that they were going up against, who, by the way, goes by the name of Clever Bunny, was just constantly talking about them. Just going off about them. Just never stopping. Just saying this and saying that and getting so mad about it. But here's what actually happened. She didn't react to the fact that the TTV put Coward in the endgame chat with anything other than confusion. She then went into their streams to find out what was happening and heard the comment about the follower count. All right, this ought to be fun. Did this person just do that and peace out? No, they're still here. I am very curious. I want to hear. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, they were making fun of me in that chat. Nice. Real nice. All right, yeah, I'm not even going to start with that. Whatever. Damn. Following this, she stopped talking about it until a couple of people in the chat basically said, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't let them piss you off. To which she said this. I'm not stressed about it. I do want to go back, though, and keep watching because when I do see things like that, because I don't usually get salt with things like that. Um, yeah. And then off the back of that, again, she didn't say a word about them until somebody came into the chat and asked what was happening, to which she said this. Punky. <laughs> uh, I 4 k in the last month. And Punky, you know, I've said so many times that I'm a survivor main. I'm not a killer main, but I've been practicing my ha uh, Huntress lately. And we had somebody in the last endgame chat that everyone died in that they just went coward. And I, they were a TTV. And I just sent a question mark because I was curious. I was like, ugh. And I guess they went in. They were, he was watching my stream on his stream. And then he was being an asshole, I guess. I don't know. Because I, I heard him making fun of me saying curious. And I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think he was maybe a little upset that I waited out his dead hard and it didn't work. And as far as I'm aware, that was her final word on the matter, or at least that's when they stopped listening. So these guys sat there giggling their heads off as if this person was just absolutely losing their marbles talking about them when she wasn't. Now, there is one small final chapter to this story, which comes from Twitter. Basically, Clever Bunny posted a clip of her interaction with the CTV on Twitter, as a lot of people do nowadays. And a few members of the Swift thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and interact with that post. But here's the thing, the TTV, the main TTV who we've been talking about today, actually created his account just to do that. They created their Twitter account for the sole purpose of commenting on Clever Bunny's posts. And what did they say? Did they apologize? Did they say, hey man, yeah, totally inappropriate what I said, can totally understand how I came across as a sexist pig, can totally get why as a female streamer and gamer, you may have felt incredibly uncomfortable and unsafe with the things that I said. Did they say any of that? Do I even need to answer? They said skill issue. <laughs> Mother skill issue. 
I don't know how you can come out of this situation and genuinely think that anything you did was acceptable, but this guy seems to have really taken that stance. So gonna go ahead and say it. What you did was absolutely f not acceptable, man. You can't be going around threatening to dox people because let's be honest, doxing is a really serious issue for a lot of content creators. Swatting, for example, has been happening a lot recently. Stalkers have been a very prominent issue, especially for female streamers. So you threatening these things, threatening to release somebody's personal information and personal location because you lost against them at a video game. Let's just get that real solid because that's essentially what happened. How do you think that's fine? How do you think that's an okay response to that situation? And to anyone watching this who genuinely thinks that what this guy said was a-okay, no problem at all, Here's what I want you to do. Here's what I think you need to do. I think you need to turn off whatever platform you're using to play video games, whether it's a console or your PC. You need to go out your front door or back door or however else you leave your house. And you need to find a patch of this green stuff called grass and you need to put your hand on it and you need to really take into mind how that feels, okay? Because you clearly need to step away from the game. Now to me, this guy's behavior, and to be honest, the behavior of the entire Swift can just be summed up as insecurity. You know, these people just cannot handle losing to the extent that they go to these lengths and think it's perfectly okay to do so. All because they lost at a video game. And I think there is a factor in there as well of these two guys not being able to handle losing to a female gamer as well. I do think that that contributed, which is where insecurity comes in. Now the TTV who received the harassment from this Swift, her name is Clever Bunny. I will leave a link to her Twitch in the description if you want to go and check her out and show her some love from the back of this. I'm sure she'd really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I know that this video comes after a little bit of a break on the channel from uploads, uh, but that will stop now. We are going back into the flow of things. It was just because my PC kind of crapped out for a little bit, so I had to take a quick break. But thank you for sticking around if you have. Thank you for your patience with me. And if you haven't, remember to subscribe. And of course, to like the video and leave a comment as well just to help other people see it, help the algorithm push it. It really helps me out. Go out there and be the best damn crunk you can be. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye for now. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.